I know so many people have been asking me why and how I'm able to be very consistent when it comes to color grading my images in Capture One. So the secret is Capture One and I rarely use Photoshop to do my color grading. So the secret is right here and I'm going to be sharing everything I do when it comes to color grading my images in just Capture One. So those that always ask, I'm using Capture One 20, I'm using Capture One 21 and that is what I'm going to be using to color grade this image. As you can see, this image is really a natural look image and it was just from an impromptu shoot. And what we want to do, just want to color grade and have even a nice skin tone. So let me just try zooming in. I'm just going to use Ctrl Command Plus. You can see we have some uneven skin tone colors or consistencies within inconsistencies rather within the skin color or some tonal variations within the skin tone so we just want to unify or match that skin color in this image so if at all you're in caption and you're wondering why my caption interface is looking like this i simply change this from right here to window workspace and i came to migration and i had the options on my right hand side so that is what i did basically and if at all you're in capture one as we head through the tutorial and you're missing any tool on this other side simply right click anywhere on this right hand side and just come and to come to add tool and you can get whichever tool you're missing within your capture one so basically that is it and let's go straight into this so usually in capture one I prefer to do the basic adjustments on this background la layer. So you can see in Capture One usually we have layers and if at all you wish, you can keep on creating different layers to push a given adjustment and you can always play around with the opacity to increase or reduce on the intensity of a given adjustment you have put to your image. So that's it. And Let's just come to the basic adjustments in the high dynamic range. So usually what I prefer to do, I usually hate working with these too much highlights. So I came I come to my high dynamic range and I take the highlights all the way down. And to compensate for that even more, I come and I take down my whites even more. So after doing that, I come to my blacks and I add just a tiny bit of the blacks. Then after that, I just come and add a little bit of contrast. So this is more like a test and preference when it comes to making these basic adjustments on your images. So after doing that, the next thing I tend to do is coming down to my levels adjustments and I simply increase or add more contrast to the images so i simply get the blacks and i turn it up just like that and you can see the image gets richer and it gets more contrast so after doing that i could come and add a little bit of clarity just a tiny bit of around two so and i'm going to open up the shadows by a tiny bit so right now I'm done doing the basic adjustments and you can see there is no difference between or there is no much of a difference between the initial image and what we have right now. So I'm just going to turn off the before and after. And after doing that, I'm just going to come to this plus icon and I'm going to come and simply right click on the plus icon and I create a new field adjustment layer. So what this means is Every color grading is going to affect the overall or entire image. So everything that we do, we're just going to be, it has created a new mask all over the image. So everything we do when we are color grading is going to affect the entire image. So we're just going to scroll all the way down to where it says color editor. So under color editor, we have the basic advanced and we also have skin tone right here so what i want to do for this case is i want to handle the skin tone of the model i'm just going to come here and get the color picker tool or 
the eyedropper tool and simply zoom in so for this case i just want to get a, re a reference point of the skin color that i want for this very model so for this case i feel like i'm just going to choose a color that is around this point right here and as soon as i left click on that point you can see it shows me the colors that fall within that range you can see this area that we have just clicked on right here or sampled has a little bit of yellows oranges magentas and some reds so we are just going to scroll down even more and we can see right now we have the view selected color range tool or option and when you click on it you can see the colors that we have targeted in this image and you can see when you turn this on and off everything else that doesn't fall in this color range is going to be black and white or desaturated so i'm just going to edit while i've turned this off by unchecking that so under uniformity slider i'm just going to come and simply come to the hues and i'm just going to zoom into the image so that you can see how it is going to affect this image so under hues i'm just going to simply start moving the hue slider and as i'm moving it you can see the image skin tones are really starting to look a little bit uniform and i'm also going to come to the saturation and i'm going to take up the saturation of this very image and you see that really makes the skin look even more uniform so after doing that you can see that we have another option that says amount so you can either take down the lightness of the image or you can brighten up the image if at all you wish to so for this case i prefer to slightly take down the lightness of this very image just by a tiny bit not too much so under this we also have saturation so you can either desaturate the image or add more saturation within the skin tone so i'm just going to add just a tiny bit so we also have hue so hue is going to either add greens or magentas within the skin tone so when you take it towards the left hand side it's going to add more magentas or reds within the image or within the skin tones or when you take it towards the right hand side it's going to add the opposite of magenta which is green so we have to be careful with this first step so for this case i just feel like i should add a little bit of greens within the skin tone i'm just going to zoom out to look at the image from a distance so this is what we have right now so let's just have a quick before and after for this first step so you can see this is what we had before and this is what we have right now this is the before and after so after doing all this i'm just going to turn this off and the next thing i'm going to handle is the color balance so under color balance you can decide to add a specific color within the shadows the midtones or the highlights so for this case i want to add a little bit of greens within my highlights and i'm just going to turn this towards the green side and you can see the more you move it towards the arc or the circum uh, circumference or the border it is going to really add too much of that color and the more you move it towards the center it is going to reduce the intensity of that given color so i just want to add a little bit or you can as well adjust it by moving this right here and dragging it up and down so i just want a little bit of greens to my highlights and i'm going to come to my shadows and i just want to add a little bit of science to my shadows but you can see when you turn this up you can see it changes the overall image so just come and simply reduce on that intensity so that it doesn't affect the image too much just a little bit so after doing that the next thing we are just going to do we're just going to add a little bit of oranges within this midtones so just come to the midtones and we're just going to add that tiny bit of oranges and that is too much so we're just going to reduce on the intensity of the oranges so after doing that we're just going to come back to where it says 
the color editor and you're going to come to the oranges remember skin tones usually fall within the range of the oranges so i'm just going to come the oranges and right now i can turn down the lightness of the oranges just like that to add more contrast within the image and i'm also going to take or move the oranges towards the magenta side or the red side just like that because the image was looking a little bit greenish in color that looks okay so i'm just going to come the saturation of the yellows and i'm just going to take down the saturation from the overall image just like that and that looks okay so if at all you have a subject or a model that is putting on yellow you have or you don't have to mess up with the yellows and you don't have to handle or tamper with the saturation slider so after doing that you can see right now what we have is the after and the before and you can see how nice and well balanced the skin looks right now so after we have done all that we can now come back up and we play around with the opacity if at all you feel like you have gone overboard with that and when you feel like maybe you have messed up the makeup or lipstick color you can just come right here and simply get your eraser tool just going to turn this off briefly get your eraser tool and you can zoom into the image and simply erase for example maybe for from the lipstick you can erase the color grading from uh, the lips of the model to retain that or originality or the original color in the lip area so basically that is how i do color grade my images within capture one and have that nice and consistent color of skin tones for most of my images that i post on instagram so when you're done with the color grading you can simply right click on the image just right click on the image and simply come to edit with and you can go into photoshop and come right here to the variants and retouch your image further and have the best out of your images so basically this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing shows. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.